Namaskar. One of the most common questions I hear is, why is there so much suffering and so much evil in the world? And I find that the way I like to look at it is that life is like a great novel, um, a great story. And without the people in the story going through difficulties and sufferings and great hardships and facing tests and trials and battles and so forth, we don't find the story interesting. So the stories we like are stories of heroes who face challenges in life and overcome them. And if a great story usually has a great villain in it, and there's a tremendous battle and we don't know what's going to happen. Lives are at risk and, uh, and so forth. And when the hero of the story goes through these uh, challenges, they become transformed through them. They reach, they, they, they move into some other level as a result of having gone through these experiences. And uh, isn't life like that? And aren't we all on such a journey? Uh, the way we see it in yoga philosophy is that we are all on a journey from starting off that journey as a piece of dust or, or, or microbes and ending that journey as figures of divine realization, um, enlightened beings. That is a hero's journey. Um, and I've been reading a little bit of uh, Joseph Campbell, who talks about myth and sees that all great myths are basically the same story. This story of uh, a journey and facing challenges that, that are, are, are tremendously difficult and involve huge transformations, external and internal as the hero of the story or the heroine of the story acquire power and move into different stages and that they represent the journey to enlightenment. There are stages where one faces all one's weaknesses, where one faces temptations, uh, where one faces, faces fear of death and annihilation and, and so forth. And these are exactly the things that we have to face on the spiritual journey. And through these challenges, which are kind of like initiations, we pass through one gate after another gate after another gate, and our consciousness evolves and, and changes. So that is the way to look at this, you know, the why is there evil and suffering in the, in the world? Because all of us, all of humanity, society collectively and, and each of us individually are on this journey of transformation and such journeys are great and dangerous and that's what makes them fascinating and transforming and that's what makes them exciting. Um, and we accept that, you know, all of these heroes, they, they don't take these journeys lightly. They go through tremendous difficulties and inner torments and outer torments. Um, <clears throat> so, and, and, and behind it all, there is this power that is creating this journey, initiating this journey that's putting us there in the beginning as a speck of dust and guiding us through and bringing these events that, that come to us and cause our, our transformation, eventually seeking that this tiny little being transforms into an enlightened divine being like itself. So when you look at life from that perspective, you can see that all the evils and sufferings that humanity faces collectively, all the difficulties and sufferings that we face individually are part of our hero's journey. And once we get this perspective, we can embrace those 
challenges and feel ourselves as a hero on a great journey, the greatest of journeys, the journey which all of humanity and all living beings at some point or another face as they evolve into greater and greater consciousness. Recently, uh, there's been, you know, as I've kind of uh, thought about this idea and um, found it encouraging and inspiring, I, a little phrase has come into my mind that I use to remind me of it, especially when I'm in the middle of a battle, when I'm fighting with my own demons, with my own weaknesses, and which I use to help me not to get put down by them and to, and to feel, you know, to have this kind of a, a, to help me develop a warrior spirit or even a spirit of, you know, playfulness in this, you know, uh, game. It's, it, it's this divine game and these great challenges and to take it with a, a sense of sportsmanship. Um, so the phrase is, thank you for this battle. This battle is a gift. It's a gift that is intended. It's not meant to be easy. It's not meant to be fun. Um, it's meant to be a, a life-changing challenge. Thank you, because this, it is through this, through embracing this and going through it with all its difficulties that I will you know, grow in my consciousness and my being. So that's what I wanted to share with you. You are a hero. We are all on this great journey as all humanity before us and all humanity after us will also be called to do. We have been called for this hero's journey. And uh, the battles that we face are gifts for intended for developing our greatness. So let us embrace them and give thanks for these battles. Namaskar. Have a great week.